right? I was just in Oslo, Norway just a couple weeks ago. I was staying downtown in Oslo. I was doing an event there. And uh, they have the King and Queen's Castle in Oslo, Norway. Have you ever been in Oslo? So I thought, you know what? I, I want to go meet the, the King and Queen. <laughs> so I just walk up the driveway to the castle. There's no fence around it. I just keep walking, 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> and I saw the doorbell. And I thought, and all of a sudden, there's these two little booths, like telephone booths. All of a sudden, and I met, was met with an armed guard. I just went from, you know, 10 feet to the guy to the guy, and I realized that he didn't say anything to me, the white gloves on. I realized, okay. And I just thought, okay, I, I gotta find a way to meet the king and queen. I wanna meet these people. Find out how they live their life. What's their biggest challenge or problem? How can I contribute? How can I provide value? How can I play the contribution game and make a difference in their life? They're people. They have drawbacks and, and challenges and benefits all in their life. So I met a couple people the next day, and I said, this is what I did, and they said, great, we'll introduce you to the, the king and queen. We know them very well, right? Every year, I didn't bring it tonight, every year what I do is I create a must-meet list. Some of you have been to my house, you've seen the must-meet list. What I do is I started off 15, 16 years ago, I started off with 10 people that I wanted to meet, and that year I met a few people, and then the second year I did, I wrote a goal to, to meet 15 people. Just had their names on a piece of paper. And that second year I did it, I met 13 out of the 15 people. One gentleman introduced me to 11 of the 13 people. Last year on my must meet list, I met 84 of the 100 people. And the interesting thing is, in 1967, Stanley Milgram in the United States of America did a wonderful case study. And in the case study, he found that we were six degrees of separation from anybody on planet Earth. Now, because of social media and the internet today, which we call World Wide Web, and when I'm teaching people in Africa, it's called World Wide Wealth. And the thing is, is that we're now less than three degrees of separation from anybody on the planet. Any goal or dream that you have that you would like to achieve, you can achieve it through the resources that are in this room. If you saw Dan earlier up on stage, you've just got to ask. You see, for every question that you don't ask, the answer is no. And so you're in the business of asking. As of tonight, you're in the business of asking. Just like children, they're in the business of asking. Would you agree? They're always asking. So for every question you don't ask, the answer is no. And what's interesting is I'm going to show you is that when you make a request, I want you to start making requests. So when you go to the laundromat, you go to the dry cleaners, ask them to get 10% off. I go to Vancouver International Airport, YBR, I always ask them to get a discount. I go to Jugo Juice, right? When you start going to restaurants, what would it take to receive a complimentary dessert? Complimentary appetizer. You're just making requests. What would it take to get a complimentary upgrade to an executive suite, penthouse suite, honeymoon suite? What would it take to get complimentary tickets? You're always asking, 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 because you're in the business of asking. And for every question you don't ask, the answer is no. And when you start making requests, right, when you start making requests, one of three things is going to happen. Step number one is they'll accept it. They'll say, absolutely, we'll accept your request. We can honor that. Step number two is they'll decline it. They'll decline it. Here's the interesting thing about declining it. Most people will decline a decision for you of a request because they don't have the authority to say yes. They're not in a position of decision-making power to say yes. I've stayed in some hotel rooms that are $5,000 a night just for making a request. Complimentary upgrade. Have you ever done this? Works, doesn't it? Those you have a credit card and you pay an annual fee, call up the credit card company and say, listen, you know what? I'm getting solicitation from other competing companies for my credit card, by telephone, by mail. I'd like you to waive my annual fee of $120. Anybody ever done it? Look around the room. And it works. And take that money and put it into savings. So decline it. And step number three is they counteroffer it. People will counteroffer. So you know what? We can't do this, but here's what we can do. But you start making requests for things, all of a sudden you start saving money. Does that make sense? Because for every question you don't ask, the answer is no. Is so you start making requests for things. Start making requests. 